I wonder, do you recognise who this guy is? I'll give you a second or two to, to think about him. Very, very famous. From the 50s and, and early 60s. So that's a big clue. This is Donald Campbell. And I've been uh, sent a series of uh, articles and uh, photographs by my friend Chris in Bridlington, North East England, about Donald Campbell. He broke 13 world records in his Bluebird car and Bluebird boots. He established a 276.33 water world record in Bluebird K7 and he established a land speed world record of 403.1 um, in a Bluebird land speed record. He was finally killed in 1967 uh, attempting another water speed uh, record attempt on Coniston Water. A driven character and he was a restless man as well. And this is a photograph of some of the models uh, collected by my friend Chris. And going from left to right is the Bluebird 7 boat. Next the Bluebird car that Donald Ca uh, Campbell drove. Next Donald's XK150 Jaguar with personalised number plate DC7 and next to that Martin Campbell's Armstrong Sidley and lastly we have over here Donald's E-Type Jaguar some people said that his DC7 plate was on this car at the time of his death this was actually not the case. The correct number was GLM37C. And you can't buy a 1 slash 43 scale model of this car. So the one shown on here, uh, Chris bought and repainted. And it was a cheapo uh, from, would you believe, China. And Chris tells me it's a bit scruffy because it's uh, driver's mirror is actually missing. And you can read this down for yourself. Bluebird on Lake Erie. And this guy here is Leo Villa. And he was an engineer and he certainly helped Donald on his way. He was vital to the running of uh, the cars and boats that Donald Campbell um, attempted world records in. And there's a wee bit of detail about him. Campbell at Coniston 
and after the death of his father in 1848, Donald Campbell took on his ambition to become the fastest man alive. Sir Malcolm Campbell had achieved nine world records on land and three on water, and in 1936 had become the first man to travel at 30 or 300 mph in his new car, Bluebird. Donald set out to carry on the family tradition. Bluebird powering up. Tide of emotion. Tearful widow Tonia is comforted by TV producer Mike Rossiter yesterday as she watches the wreckage of her late husband's Bluebird Jetbird being hauled, aboard, hauled ashore at Coniston Water. Donald Campbell, a remarkable man in so many ways, gone but not forgotten.